here are some common ways that you'll auto number things in Excel. The first one is not automatic at all. It's just the old school type and manually enter your data. If you've got some data though, what you can do over here is highlight all of these numbers one through five. In the bottom right corner, click and then drag down and it is going to count up for you all the way down to number 15 or wherever you want to drag that to. In the same way, if you have these numbers, you can double click right there and it's smart enough to see that, hey, you've gone down to 15 over here, so we're gonna assume you're creating the same type of list in this column. And let me just illustrate how you could do this with a date instead. So let's say you have the date 1124. Let's just drag that down. It knows I'm wanting to go one day at a time. And if I double click that, it's also going to go all the way down. Now we could do a formula. We could say, hey, we've got this and I just want to add one to it. Okay, well, it's smart enough to see that, well, we can just do that. Then I can highlight this cell D4, shift and click here so that this whole rest of the section is highlighted and click Control D. Control D is the shortcut to fill down the formula. So if you see in the formula bar, I've got the previous row plus one on all of these cells. And then finally, we can just use one formula to do this whole thing for us. So the sequence formula is going to say, hey, how many rows do you want? And I actually want 15 rows, and then I want one column, and the starting amount, I want a date that is 2024, first month, first day, and then I want to step it up by one. And so that's going to do, in essence, the same thing that just happened before, only what's going on here, we've got some weird formatting because we're still in general format. So let's uh, pop it into date format and voila. And you know, there's actually another way to do this by using the row function. So check this out. If we do this, it returns the row number of a reference. So if we do row with nothing in it, it's gonna say what row we're currently in. So this is row three, so it's returning three. But if I want to actually go in here and say A1, then it will start with one and then go down. And then I can do my little double click trick right here and it will number it down like so. And a little bonus for you. I don't use this as much, but it can be handy in some circumstances. I hope that's helpful for you. Please click like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more tech and programming tips like this. Have a great one.